This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Star Flower. This design is being sponsored by the Free Motion Quilting Basics for Beginners DVD. This DVD covers all the basics on how to get started free motion quilting on your domestic sewing machine. Check out this DVD and support the Free Motion Quilting Project at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Starflower. To stitch this design, you're going to start in the center of your quilting space with a straight line. Then you're going to simply travel stitch and overlap that line to make a cross shape and then overlap an X on top of that to create a star shape right in the center of your quilting space. Now you're going to go back into a space in between two stars and kind of echo around it with a flame shape. You're going to simply travel around the entire star coming up to a point and coming back to the center of the quilt. You can see that this kind of just bounces around the center and it's very, very quick and easy to stitch. Take your time making the nice pointy shape to the flame because you're going to echo stitch this with more petals as you come around. Now to continue this design all you have to do is simply echo bouncing around in between each petal shape and expanding and continuing that kind of wiggly flame or petal look. It's a beautiful flower and it's very easy to stitch as you can tell from this video. It's very quick. Um, one really fun thing to do is to figure out which way feels more natural for you to go around the circle, uh, either stitching clockwise or counterclockwise. As you can see from this video, I like stitching counterclockwise, but many quilters prefer stitching clockwise. So it's one of those things to kind of play with and see which way feels most natural for you. But this is exactly how this flower fills your quilting space, simply expanding those nice beautiful petal shapes directly from the center. And um, the really nice thing is when you can leave this flower shape kind of circular. But here you can see I'm actually fitting and filling the quilting space completely. It's up to you whether you want to do this or not. Uh, it's certainly not required. And if you're putting this in maybe an applique quilt, if you're using a flower, a stitched flower rather than a fabric flower, then I would personally advise you to keep the flower shape circular so that way it looks more like a flower. In this situation I'm filling the block completely with these beautiful wavy lines of quilting and that looks good too if your goal is to simply fill the entire surface of your quilt evenly and consistently. So that's it for Star Flower. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish it. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, many beautiful flower designs just like this one, check out daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.